What would you do if you found out something you cherished was possessed? Would you try and throw it away? Destroy it? Maybe sell it to some unsuspecting buyer? And how did it become haunted in the first place? Those are the questions we're going to ask as we explore those very objects. Some you might be familiar with, others so obscure that they've been lost to the sands of time until now. I'm your host, Evan O'Hare. Welcome to Haunted Objects. So before you buy that trinket at a garage sale or accept that family inheritance, take a look at these haunted objects and decide for yourself if you believe. Thanks for watching Haunted Objects. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the bell so you can be notified when new episodes of Haunted Objects goes live. Now back to the show. We have another fabled possessed chair for you this evening. The Busby Stoop Death Chair. Hmm. Chairs, they seem to be a reoccurring vessel for souls, don't they? I suppose the right person sitting long enough might make a sinister bond. Let's take a look and see what makes the Busby chair the center of more mischief. Located near Sandhutton in North Yorkshire, the Busby Stoop Inn is a public house with a tavern that is considered haunted. The activity seems confined to a reputed chair of the death kept in storage. The chair of death was the favorite chair of a striper named Thomas Busby, who was convicted in 1702 for the murder of his father-in-law, Daniel Audi, whom he supposedly strangled for sitting in his favorite chair after an argument about Thomas's wife, Audi's daughter, Elizabeth. On his way to the gallows in 1702, he asked to stop by the pub and put a curse on his chair, claiming that anyone who sat in it would be haunted and soon die. It remained in the pub for centuries and people were dared to sit in it. During World War II, airmen from a nearby base made the pub a hot spot and the chair became a hot seat and people noticed that the ones who sat in it would never come back from war. In 1967, two Royal Air Force pilots sat in it, and while driving back, they crashed into a tree and died. A few years later, two bricklayers decided to try it, and that afternoon, the one who sat in it fell to his death. The cursed chair has apparently killed every person who sat in it, no matter what. Eventually, the pub owner moved it into the basement, hoping that nobody would sit in it. However, one day a delivery man was in the basement and sat in it. An hour later, he crashed his truck and died. After the death, the landlord asked the local museum to take it. To ensure nobody sat in it again, they hung the chair five feet from the ground. It seemed that because the museum had made it nearly impossible to be able to sit in it, its killing days were over. Perhaps those of us who are swept up in the flat pack revolution are simply playing a safer game. Perhaps those quaint vintage items are priceless not just due to the expert craftsmanship and quality materials that went into lovingly constructing them. Perhaps it's because of the residual attachments that tag along from house to house. Or maybe all the items featured today are nothing more than scare tactics designed to keep guests away from their favorite rest stops. Whether the cursed objects shown this evening are of myth, urban legend, or fantastical paranormal occurrences is for you to decide. I hope I haven't left you eyeballing your shelves and contemplating your latest thrift shop purchase. But if I did, get in touch. Tell us about your possessed possession, and maybe we'll feature it right here on Haunted Objects.
Thank you for listening to Haunted Objects, brought to you by Resurrection Films, hosted by Evan O'Hare, and produced by Shawnee Elise Cook, directed and edited by Jason D. Morris, written by Carly Street, Mark Francisco, and Jason D. Morris, co-produced by Troy L. Foreman and Jason Hewlett, executive produced by Resurrection Films and Berg Garabedian. Haunted Objects was originally aired on the Paranormal Network for Joe Blow Media Inc.